It seems like every single fast food restaurant finally has an app, but to be honest, most of the apps don't even work that well, and so I'm gonna explain which ones are actually good. I mean, if mobile ordering is important to you, then all of these apps are gonna work just fine, but I'm talking about deals and reward points because those are actually gonna save me money, and that's what's important to me. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the three best fast food apps that are gonna save you money, and you're not gonna to wanna to delete them off your phone because they don't actually suck. And then I'll also show you the key features of all these different apps on my phone so that you can see for yourself if there's something that you'd actually want or not. Now, if you just found this channel, I'm Jason with Honest Finance, and I make a lot of videos on different topics that'll give your life and your finances more value. So feel free to subscribe if you guys want to, but now let's just start talking about these fast food apps. Okay, so the first app that made my list is actually the best one in my opinion, and this one goes to McDonald's because the app is freaking amazing. So unless you don't like McDonald's for some reason, then I'd for sure get this app over the other two that I'm gonna talk about because it really does do everything and it's not very glitchy like some of the other apps can be. They've got their own mobile ordering parking spots just for using the app. They always have really good deals. And then on top of that, their promotions are always really up to date whenever you're using the app. The McDonald's app gives you tons of really good promotions based on your location and the deals are actually really good compared to a lot of the other apps. And then just remember that I'll show you guys all of the key features of these different apps once I get through this list. Now the next app that made my list is actually Chick-fil-A because their app is based on reward points and it's really easy to use. So basically every time you buy stuff from Chick-fil-A, they're gonna give you reward points, which you can later spend on different food items, but they're also gonna give you free random stuff as well just for being signed up for the app. However, I will say that the old app that Chick-fil-A used to use was complete garbage and had they not redesigned it about six months ago, this app would have never made my list. But because of the redesign, the app is so much better now and it's so much easier to use all because of these changes and I would definitely recommend trying it out. Now the last one on my list goes to 7-Eleven and I know they're not the normal kind of fast food that you think of, but just hear me out. The reason 7-Eleven made my list is because even if you look at the huge companies like Burger King or Subway, they're always just too confusing and that's where 7-Eleven works the best because their app is really easy to use and it's never confusing. And trust me, if you go out and download a bunch of different fast food apps, you're gonna see what I'm talking about about being confusing because a lot of them are just gonna pack in way too many features and they want you to do everything at the same time and it just gets too confusing and that's where 7-Eleven shines because of the simplicity. The easiest feature that 7-Eleven offers is that you're always gonna get your seventh drink cup free. So if you drink coffee or soda, then that's a really good feature to have just for using the app. They also have reward points too, so everything that you buy from 7-Eleven is gonna get you points that you can spend on random stuff as well. And then on top of that, they'll always have tons of deals that can get you bonus points, and then they'll have coupons on the app as well. And I don't know if you've ever bought much food from them, but they have a lot of really good prices, and they have a pretty good selection of hot food that you can eat throughout the day. Now let's hop into my phone, and I'm gonna show you guys the key features of these different apps, and I'm gonna start with 7-Eleven, because that's the one that we were just talking about. Okay, so when you open up the 7-Eleven app, you're gonna see this giant circle up at the top and that's got all of your points inside of it. So it looks like I've got 8,900 points so far and I'm gonna show you guys how to redeem some of those points. So just click on choose rewards. That's the little button right under the points. I'm gonna click that right now. Um, inside of that, it's gonna start you out at the 2000 point category, but I'm gonna back down until I get to the 800 point tier. So each of these just takes up 800 points, um, taquitos, donuts, little drinks and stuff like that. And then when you redeem those, those just take away that many points and then you get them for free. So moving on to the 1200 point category, we've got candy bars, sodas, chips, um, stuff like that. So it just keeps getting better. And then let's move on to 1500 point. We've got fancy waters, drinks, bigger candy bars, um, stuff like that. And then in the 2000 point category, that's as high as it goes, um, but they've got big fresh deli breakfast sandwiches, giant 12 ounce Red Bulls and monsters, salads, pizzas, and the biggest stuff that they offer. So that's how that works for the rewards. You just spend your points on the stuff that they have in, the, in these different categories. So let's go back to the main menu here and you're gonna see scrolling down um, a little bit, you're gonna see the seventh cup is free. So I've got three marks on that, uh, meaning that I'm almost halfway there. And then they've got these little grade ones out. I haven't used any of these, but pure one liter water, Perrier and Cheez-Its. Looks like those are little promotional things you can do to get those for free as well if you buy seven. Down here, if you click on deals, that's just gonna take you to the deals category. 
and that is going to have all of the different bonuses that you can get for buying stuff so looking up at the top in these little recommendations they've got 200 bonus points when i buy it looks like a drink and chips 400 bonus points when i buy a hot dog and a drink um, so those are just recommendations for me and then if you go down here to the categories we've got fresh foods combos drinks energy just click on any of those i'm going to click on combos um, and that's going to have all of the different point um, bonuses that you can get through here. But if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, they're just going to have the regular deals. So looking up at the top here, I've got a four meal deal. Buy any two Pepsi or Mountain Dew 20 ounce and two pizza slices for four bucks. So those are just regular deals. But towards the top of here, we've got the bonus point offerings. So it looks like those are definitely being used in the app. Um, and then anytime you ever redeem anything, if you just click down here on my rewards, that's where everything's going to show up. So just go inside of there um, to check your purchase history and all of that kind of stuff to see that you're actually getting your stuff for free when you redeem the points. And that is how 7-Eleven app works. It's really simple. Every time you just go into 7-Eleven, just have them zap this QR code whenever you open up the app. Um, and then that's it. Okay, so when you open up the Chick-fil-A app, you've got all of these different options here at the bottom. You've got menu, rewards, scan, account, and my order. And honestly, a lot of these features I really don't care about. I don't care about their menu. I don't care about finding a restaurant. But if that's something that you're interested in, then at least the app offers it. Um, the main thing that I'm into here at the bottom, you're going to see rewards. Just click on that. Um, and it tells me right here that I am a silver member and I've got 1127 points right now. And then it tells me that I've earned a total of 2700. And if I earn another 2274, then I'm going to earn red status. Um, and the way you can tell what those statuses are is you just go down here. Um, it says right here, I'm a silver member. So I get $1 equals 11 points. The basic one, you're going to get $1 equals 10 points. And then the best member is the red member and that's one dollar equals 12 points so you get more points for your dollar based on your tier but i'm a silver right now and it says right here your chick-fil-a one silver status is valid through eight nine of twenty so i've still got quite a while that i'm a silver member and i'm not going to lose that status so what you're going to do now inside of rewards is just click on redeem right here at the top so click on that and then you're going to see all of the different categories here so I've got 1100 points and that's actually quite a lot to get stuff. So a lot of the time you can just base it off of what you feel like or based on the value of what you're buying. So as you scroll down, the points are just gonna go higher. Um, but then as soon as you get to the highest point, this is where you can get the really fancy stuff. Uh, so let's go all the way to the highest tier here. There we go. We're getting up to 800 points for four count chicken strips fancy sandwiches and looks like 1500 points. I don't even have that many, so those are grayed out and that's as high as you can go. Um, if you click up here, up at the My Rewards at the top right, um, they're just gonna throw stuff in there randomly like on your birthday or just even when you don't expect it and they're just gonna give you stuff in there or that's where your redemptions are gonna go as well. So you can see kind of what you're ready to buy and get it for free. Um, whenever you go into the restaurant, just make sure to click the scan thing right down here at the bottom. So just click this and then they're gonna have little zappers at each of the different registers. Just make sure to zap this QR code whenever you're ordering stuff and then your points will be accumulated. Usually within 24 hours, it seems to be pretty quick. Um, and then that's all there is to Chick-fil-A. Okay, so when you open up the McDonald's app, they're gonna have all of their ads here up at the top. So because I'm shooting this in March, they've got the Shamrock Shake and they've got a little offering up there. And then they've got the menu right here. And if you click into this, this is just gonna make it so that you can actually order things from the app. And just like all the other apps, you can order, you can go pick it up. But the different thing about McDonald's is that they've actually got special spots outside in their parking lots just for mobile ordering. So you can either do that and they can bring the food to you, or you can go through the drive through and pick up your mobile order, or you can go inside and pick it up um, just depending on your preference. So I don't really use this feature, but apparently a lot of people do, um, but that's just not my thing. My thing with the McDonald's app is the deals. So if you click down here on the bottom center, you're gonna see the little deals icon. Just click that, and then that's gonna have all of their deals based on your location. So the McCafe, if you drink that kind of stuff, they got these little buy five, get one free kind of thing, um, and that's always going on. And then the big thing here is that like you can get a dollar fry, large fry, 
You can get free any size soft drink with the purchase of medium or large fries, dollar off Big Macs, the new bacon ones, um, buy hotcakes, get one for a penny. So a lot of the stuff, you do have to have another person with you to get the best value out of it. But mainly the kind of stuff that I do is like a dollar large fry or I get a free drink and I use those kind of coupons all the time. So whenever you wanna use a coupon, you just click on it um, and then you click this little scan at restaurant thing and it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna use this deal? Cause you're limited to one deal per visit. So go ahead, sure, I'll use it. Um, and it pulls up this QR code and your phone goes really bright so that they can't miss it. You just click that, um, have them scan it, and then boom, you've got yourself the deal. That's all there is for McDonald's. Um, it works extremely well, and they have a lot of really good deals. So definitely take advantage of it every time you're at McDonald's and just see what they have to offer. Sometimes they might not have a deal that's for you, but I would say 90% of the time you can find something that's gonna save you some money. Now that you're a lot more familiar with these apps, I want you to download them for yourself and try them out because honestly, they really do save me a lot of money and I think they can do the same thing for you, so just try them. And then make sure to comment down below and tell me which app you're gonna try first because I really wanna see which one is the most popular out of all the three that I just talked about. And then once again, I'm Jason with Honest Finance and I make a lot of videos on different topics that'll give your life and your finances more value. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to, or you can just check out one of my other videos over here, like making money by searching online, which is a pretty good one, but that's all for now.